I met Johnny in Ottawa, in Canada, in, I think, somewhere around early 1967. And the Hollies were playing a show in Canada. And um, after the show, the Hollies were being uh, thrown a party by our production people and stuff. And my manager's talking in my ear, and I'm looking at this beautiful blonde ac across, the, across the way. And he keeps talking in my ear, and I go, hey, 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 I'm, tr I'm trying to concentrate on this woman, please. And he said, well, if you'd be quiet for a second, I'm about to tell you that this is Joni Mitchell and she wants to meet you. And I said, oh, well, in that case. And um, that started a long relationship with John. We lived together in Laurel Canyon for a, a couple of years there. My memories of Laurel Canyon are beautiful. Uh, lots of sunshine, lots of freedom, lots of new music to make. Establishing my uh, relationship with David and Stephen and with Joan, of course, and then later with Neil. Uh, lots of drugs, lots of marijuana, lots of beautiful women with very few clothes, you know, it, it was an amazing time. I was in love. And I was with a brilliant, beautiful woman. I'd taken Johnny to breakfast at a delicatessen on Ventura Boulevard in Los Angeles in the valley. And uh, we'd finished breakfast and we were walking back to Joan's car. There was this un small antique store on Ventura Boulevard. And we were looking in the window, and, and Joni saw uh, a vase uh, that she liked to hold flowers. Um, I, I don't know, about 10 inches tall, clear, with, with hand-painted flowers around the edge. And it was, uh, it was reasonably cheap. It was, you know, it wasn't an expensive item, so she bought it. Um, and this particular morning in Los Angeles uh, was very gray, kind of miserable, kind of cold and damp. Um, and we drove back to Joni's house uh, uh, on Laurel Canyon and went through the front door, of course, and I said, hey, Joan, it's really, it's really cold today. Why don't I light a fire and you put some flowers in that vase that you just bought? Want to hear how it turned out? Yeah. I'll light the fire. You place the flowers in the vase that you bought today. And that was the first verse. And so Joni went out in the garden to put some flowers in the vase. And that meant two things. One, that she was not at her piano. Uh, and the second one uh, was that I was. <laughs> she was out there collecting flowers and I was writing my feelings down. Staring at the fire for hours and hours while I listen to you play your love songs all night long for me, only for me. Joni and I broke up. I have a feeling that in our relationship, uh, we, all, we all make decisions based on our past. What happened to us as children, what happened to us as growing up. And I think that Joni thought that I wanted her to, uh, to give up being Joni Mitchell and just be in the kitchen. <laughs> Which is the furthest thing from my mind ever. Hmm? Heartbreaking. But at least I have a heart to break. With two cats in the yard Life used to be so hard Now everything is easy Cause of you And now I'm 
light the fire while you place the flowers in the vase that you bought today.